Hello and welcome gorgeous Leo to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you this week. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So this card here wants to come out so we'll start with this one. Okay so we have an energy of clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God's, 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 such freedom. So there's, there's, a, there's a major shift for someone well, when it comes to shifting mindset. Um, there is a truth that you're understanding at the moment where your source your true source is spirit is god is the universe and there is a flow of energy from the divine that you're connecting into to bring through the abundance that you need rather than trying to do it yourself off your own energy stores so connecting into divine power instead of your own personal power and drawing down on that personal power it's much better to connect it to the divine and then have both flowing freely and that's what I'm seeing um, for someone here so you know if that resonates for you there is clearing of space, clearing of what no longer serves you, clearing of your aura, clearing of your workspace, or your home, clearing of relationships that no longer serve you. So it might resonate on that level of actually clearing away to make way for the new. Um, yes, that's a that's a strong message from this uh, from this card and this energy. OK, so let's take a look at your next card. And it's about the inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So you, I can see that there's going to be um, a conversation, a circumstance that, that actually comes up this week where, where you are prepared to look at what your inner child is telling you. And this is going to be a powerful awakening. It really is a very powerful awakening. You might already be working with your inner child energy. And of course, there's this um, sense of child children. So a child or children might be important in your life this week as well somehow. Um, so we have those, those two meanings coming in here. But don't ignore the intuitions, the feelings that you're getting from your inner child, from your instincts, from your intuitions. That's how I feel it's going to come through. It might be linked to your past as well. OK, there might be a reveal around your past. OK, let's see what this deck reveals. Calculating karma, breaking the bonds. There's a situation, a relationship, there's something happening where there's a there's a karmic bond that is tying you to this person or to this repeating pattern. And the time has come now to release it, to clear it, to move it away. It's no longer working for you. Um, it's come to its finality. You're breaking the bonds. It's time for this to go. It might also be linked into your childhood or your inner child might bring up some patterns that you've been repeating since you were young and it might be karmic based. And so there's a yes, it might be linked in um, to those energies, but whatever it actually is for you. OK, you are breaking the bond. You're breaking the cycle. So this is a very empowering week for you, Leo. Communion, protective frequencies. So you, yes, this is the energy I was sensing with, with the first card here about connecting into that divine flow, connecting into God's source, universal energy, not just drawing on your own 
power, but drawing on sources, gods, the universe, um, that for that constant flow. And um, that's the that's the communion I'm seeing here from source through to you. Yes, powerful. And you are protected. You have angels around you, guardian angels, your guides, you're protected through frequencies uh, that come from heaven, from spirit. So yes, you might be going through some kind of uh, transformation, perhaps, um, where you're needing to have the protective frequencies strongly around you. Um, but in a more general sense, the energies, the frequency of protection is there for you if you need it. Um, very much so this week, Leo. So let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. Listen to your intuition. Something is being felt or something will be felt through your intuition, through your inner knowing. Spirit is saying, listen to it. Do not dismiss it. It is truth. It is real. It's going to lead you um, in a good direction. Okay, it's going to lead you in a good direction. It might also be, you might also find that your intuition is telling you something about um, a situation or a person that's going to protect you. Okay, so listen to that inner voice, that inner knowing. In some way, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to move forward and take action might be linked in because it's right below the inner child. So it might be linked into your past or inner child um, wanting to explore something. Time to take action. So let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Leo, please. Spirit guidance for Leo. This one and this one. So we have unicorn and majestic. Beautiful energies. Let's see what they say. So the unicorn is about magic. Never stop believing in magic. It is happening all around you. Spirit is definitely working through your life right now. Uh, Spirit is always working through our lives, but particularly this week, there's something happening where you'll start to see magic happen. Synchronicities will take place. Your prayers are going to be answered in a powerful way. You're going to have this success or victory or abundance that you need. You are a magical being with powers, with magical powers sent to heal the planet. So there might be a focus on healing, healing of self, or you might be caring for another person, it might be to do with an animal, a pet, or maybe the earth, the environment. Within every being is a magical beast. Set it free, watch it run, follow and be amazed where you end up. This is about... Um, Kind of freedom you have something magic you're wanting to do say take action with and you've got to set it free and watch the energy flow and where you move to when you allow that to happen and majestic energy is around you you are a beautiful and majestic soul be proud of who you are your vibration is high the colors of the rainbow emanate through your soul that's beautiful your beauty is endless. Share it with others just uh, by just being you. So you've got a lot to give. Um, to me, this feels like a life purpose energy. This feels like a life purpose, a gift that you have to, to the world. Really beautiful. It might be manifesting in your professional life, your personal life, or you might be embodying it into your everyday, no matter what you're doing. That's really the ultimate. Got some really amazing energy surrounding you. Let's see, Leo wants Spirit wants to bring through with this deck. Okay, so this is the Queen of Swords. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, and judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations and focusing on career, divorce or unmarried individuals. So that might resonate, you might be unmarried, you might be getting divorced or divorced, 
there is a focus on your career that might resonate for you or on your business this this week and there might be a difficult situation that you're going through or some challenging conversation that you have or a difficult situation that comes up this week see the humor in it as much as you can take a light-hearted approach as much as you can and we have the energy again of clearing the energy of clearing away releasing situations and people that no longer serve you The chariot is Cancer's card, so you might have a Cancer that's in your life, perhaps. Rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower and public recognition might be on the way for you as well. So stay open to that if it resonates. The Four of Cups. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Okay, that's interesting because you do have the unicorn and that is about magic happening in your life. So, yes, um, try not to be, because the, the, the water, the cups, um, it's about your emotions. So perhaps if you're um, quite emotional about a situation this week, then you may miss a magical opportunity, you know, the... The magic happening in your life. Um, so yes, just be aware of that in your emotions. Um, you might miss the point. The distractions of daily life also may contribute to this. Discontentment or boredom may also be around you in a situation this week. Lost in your own world. It's time to wake up. So time to wake up from being in kind of lost in this emotional world. The king of earth so you may have a taurus a virgo or a capricorn that's around you compassionate accomplished charismatic and grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity is coming in for you the midas touch everything seems to just be flowing and going really well for you everything turning out beautifully so if you're worried or anxious about a situation about someone it's going to turn out okay. It's going to turn out beautiful, in fact. A supportive parent or spouse and a good person to work for. So if there is discord tension in a relationship um, at work, it looks like things might be getting sorted out or settling down somehow. Strength. And this is your card, Leo. You might as well, uh, you might also have another Leo in your life as well. Uh, personal power and assertiveness betrayed with kindness compassion that brings about forgiveness and realizing that you're stronger than you knew that's a powerful card being yours leo and the page of air logical perceptive insightful and blunt an exciting intellectual challenge brilliant insights information that you need but might be challenging to receive review all documents carefully so just be aware of that as well i feel that's important information news and announcement something that you hear you need to hear it. you need to receive this thing but it might be challenging you need to receive it but just stay open to the positives of that um, that news so let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question that you would like to ask spirit, your guides, your angels, think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your own intuition. See how that resonates for you and the question that you've asked about. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.